<laughs> Holy crap! Good morning, guys. Welcome to another video in Vlogmas. Except this one is a little bit chaotic because tomorrow is Miles' birthday. <sighs> and his gift is still not here thanks to shipping and terrible customer service so the gift i was going to get him for his birthday is now just going to have to be a christmas gift and i have not thought about what i was going to get him for christmas just yet because i'm a last minute person but i okay maybe it sounds a little crazy for those of you that don't have context but miles has been just randomly throwing out the idea of getting chickens and it was me who's kind of been shutting it down because I'm sorry, the idea of getting a chicken is like, what are you? Are you mad? Why are we getting chickens? Are we a farm? What the heck, you know? And so he, since we're in the process of moving, literally had the movers come and estimate how much uh, stuff we have today. And we have a move-in date and everything, which is literally coming up before Christmas. He's also been really down and out with just work and just not being around family right now and stuff like that. So I figured there's nothing like getting a cute fluffy baby thing that will cheer him up. And honestly, I'm not like super against the idea of getting a chicken. I just, I want it to be known that it's his chicken. <laughs> honestly, I thought it'd be a lot easier to get a chicken, but it's actually been kind of tough because apparently chickens in Hawaii, if you guys know Bretman Rock, love him. He has so many chickens and there's chickens running around literally on the streets of Hawaii. Like you can go and grab a chicken from the streets, but obviously they have a lot of germs and stuff like that. And if I want, if I'm going to have a chicken anywhere near my dog, I want to make sure it's not a parasite infested chicken, but the hatcheries, because that's what they're called. The hatcheries here are like, you have to pre-order the chickens because people are about that chicken life, which I get it. Like 12 eggs is is basically $12. Totally understand why people want to have chickens out here. Jason's birthday is literally tomorrow. I'm getting ready right now for the day. I'm gonna get the chicken and then surprise him with it. And I'll show you guys what the plan is on how I want to kind of surprise him but he sometimes gets off work a little early so i gotta go like right now okay so here is what i have um i got a little gift bag and i have gift paper whatever i just called a, a bunch of places a bunch of pet stores and everything and there's only one place that is ready for pickup right now and that has chickens that are only 10 days old and they're a silky chicken like silky chicks which are like the chicken set with like this and i literally when i was like if i'm gonna get a chicken if we're gonna get chickens we went to like get really cute ones and the fact that they said these are the only ones they have currently i was like all right maybe we should go get them so i was thinking of putting the chicken in here and then just being like happy birthday i don't know is that corny um and i also was thinking of getting it giving it to him today a day before his birthday because I kind of wanted to do a surf day with him tomorrow and then go to dinner. Felt like that would be a cute birthday dinner festivities. Oh well, when plans don't work out, you improvise and you get something even better. Am I right, ladies? Or am I right? Let's hurry up. <laughs> Imagine her as Big Bird. <laughs> Man, I really hope this gift idea works out. I have a secondary gift idea, but I highly doubt that that, I mean, I feel like that secondary gift idea is gonna feel like a secondary gift idea. It's basically like a gift card to the surf shop um, because Miles has been talking about wanting um, a, a longer surfboard and that could be good Like I feel like that's a good gift to give but it's not a fun gift, you know, and so I feel like this one I feel like this would be a much more fun Gift to give I'm also yawning a whole lot because guys let me know if this is just a me thing But I have been struggling on sleep like crazy um <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with me. I'm not drinking an excessive amount of coffee. I mean, I just drink my one cup a day and a pre-workout and maybe that's too much coffee. That's pretty normal for me to drink that much um, caffeine and I've been able to sleep perfectly fine, but even days where I'm so exhausted, you know, having edited a whole lot. Do you see what I mean? There's chickens everywhere. Oh, it's a mom and dad. Like I was saying before I rudely interrupted my 
myself. Um, I've been having such a hard time falling asleep. So, and I don't want to take melatonin because I know that melatonin is actually really not good for you. And it can actually, it can have the adverse effect in the long run where it, your body will no longer produce the natural amount of melatonin and you're going to have to be on that pill forever to fall asleep. Um, so I don't want to take melatonin. I'm not particularly stressed. Like I, I, I don't feel like I am, you know? Um, so I don't know what's going on. Let me know if you guys have any ideas or if you have any um, like at home remedies. I've tried chamomile tea. I've been drinking chamomile tea to go to bed, but that's not doing anything to be honest. I tried reading because before when I would read my Kindle, I would knock out so quick. But now it's like I read my Kindle and I knock out, but then five, not even five minutes later, it's like I'm not in deep rest, you know, like my brain is still going. Like my brain is still awake even though my body's exhausted and tired. And then I wake up when my alarm goes off and I can tell, like I remember all the thoughts I was having and it just, it feels like I did not rest whatsoever. So now I'm yawning every five seconds. I'm trying to keep myself from drinking too much coffee or caffeine. And I low-key want to just reduce how much coffee I'm drinking every day so that I can just wean myself off without getting a headache because right now it's just, I need to sleep. I want to sleep so bad. I'm just really craving a good night's like restful sleep, you know? Oh my God, guys, I did it. Except I got two. I got two. They're so cute. I, oh my God, I'm scared. I'm actually scared. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. You? <laughs> okay, 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 let's go home. Hang on a mistletoe. I'm gonna get to know you better. This Christmas, and as we trim the tree, how much fun it's gonna be together. This Christmas. I wanna set up this real quick before. Miles gets home because I want to get them out of that box. They're not supposed to be in there for very long. And oh no! Oh, I can feel them underneath. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm already having a massive case of buyer's remorse. But I don't know if you guys can see. They're so quiet. Hi! I want you guys to see the ones that I picked. It's, they're really cute, but they're. So scary, what the heck? I also got a little feeder at the store along with some food for them and he said to keep them in the cage even though they're gonna be outdoor chickens in the long run because you want them to get acclimated to the space first. So I think that is probably what we're gonna do. I know, I know, I got you. Just give me a second, I'm working fast here. Side side is blazing bright. A little cage built and I put a little bit of water in there and now the only thing and now the only thing left to do is get these birds out. I am so scared. I don't want to touch them. Okay, I need to get over it, okay? Because these are our chickens now. So I'm gonna put a little bit of food too. So they know that I'm not, I'm not over here kidnapping them. I feel like I just did something that was just far too impulsive that maybe I should have given this better thought, but you know, the problem with me is I live life on the edge. No thoughts, just action. I'm afraid they're gonna come out of this thing like ready to fight, but every video that I've watched um, in the last hour of the drive back home says that these are the most well-behaved and friendly of the chicken types, so they're not known to be aggressive with animals or children or humans. They're so 
uh, what's the name? But these are chicken. Like these are baby chicks. Oh, okay, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Okay. Oh. They've done one and two in here. It's okay. It's because you guys were scared. I'm afraid to touch it. Let me just, you know what? I'm not going to. Oh, they're running to the back of the box. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, where'd the chickens go? Oh, they're right here. Oh, you're eating. Oh, are you eating your poop? So I don't want to rush them, but I also don't want them getting too comfortable in this house. What the heck have I done? What have I done? Instant regret. I don't know how I'm about to get these chickens. I can't even touch them because they seem so delicate. I don't know how I'm gonna get them in this thing. What's the mouse's location? Oh my God, I'm so freaked out. Okay, let me see, mouse's location right now. I don't think he's left work yet. Um, okay, so it looks like he's still at work. So I'm gonna let the little chickens eat. So you guys can see we got a white one and a black one. Um, they look a little crazy right now, but they're so tiny, they're so cute. Uh, actually, they're so adorable. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I think they're gonna be good for now. I'm gonna leave Mocha outside until, oh no, what are you doing, silly? That one shorts a lot. You, yes you. Okay, let me see if it hurts when they nip, because I feel like they're gonna nip at me. All right, I'm gonna leave them down here to eat for a little bit. I'm gonna finish editing. I'm gonna eat a little bit and kind of compose myself until Miles gets here because what the heck have I done? See, I don't feel, oh, they're so cute. They're cuddling together. Okay, I don't know if they'll fit in here. The mouse is literally around the corner and I don't wanna disturb them. Here, let me put this in here actually. They know something is up. They're not happy with me. You were trying to surprise me and I surprised you. <laughs> I have to be. Hello, Miles. Welcome home. Hello. Oh. Alright, what did you do? Alright, well, you have an early birthday surprise. No, I don't. No, I don't. You do. Oh my god. You do. What do you oh think it is? God. I don't know. Guess. Uh, uh, I don't know. I got a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. What's up, doggy? Yes, we're starting your birthday festivities. Woo! Now, I will have to tell you, the birthday present that I was initially going to get you yeah. didn't get here in time. That's fine. So we have an improvision. Okay. For King Miles. <laughs> something else. It 
is something else okay. that I, I have no idea. You have you have no idea. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going back outside. Because it's outside. No, it's not. It's a circle. <laughs> it's not a circle. Oh, oh, you it's know, I'm setting list. myself up a little bit. That's what I'm saying. Um, I didn't okay. want to guess. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you know, every king needs <laughs> some ladies. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Don't freak them out. They're, they're only 10 days old. Are you really excited? Fuck yeah, I'm excited. Now I'm just wondering a little. I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> no, I got them food and a little cage. They need to stay in their cage for the day. But guess what? Why, why the day? Um, just because they get scared. They don't want too many open spaces. Okay. But guess what? What? They're silky chicken. So they're cute chickens? <laughs> Oh my god, hey one. Well Miles, you're so brave. What? Because you have no idea how scared I was to touch that chicken. <laughs> what? I don't know. Oh. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
I really love doing vlogmas because I feel like I'm having a conversation with you guys and low-key I feel like I want to do vlogs more consistently like this probably not every day because I just honestly I'm barely making it um but it feels like the videos are so real time you guys are like I feel like I'm living life with you guys as opposed to like living life and then showing you guys the life I've lived do you get what I mean and then you guys talking to me and giving me advice all that it feels so real time so I've been really liking that better than Instagram better than TikTok I've barely been on TikTok so anyways let me know what you guys think um I'm gonna go <laughs> love you guys bye Side is lazy and